We go now to another. I was to say another champ, but why don't we go to Westland, Oregon for the people's champ? Let's go to the 2012 champ, the 2014 co-champ. A lot of talk about whether or not this guy would show up by himself or with his wingman. I'm still not sure. It's a guy who's fought several UFC champs. He enters today to his standard, Too Much Fun, by Daryl Singletary. And that's about all we know. Is he coming alone? Is it a tag team? I still have no idea. But probably the most interesting caller in radio and definitely the only human being in history to fight Anderson Silva in the octagon. Live with Boy George on a reality show and have a take on Vic and NoCal in the smack off. Here he comes. Here comes Chael. Chael, what's going on? Guys, look, Rome, these kids are good, man. I want to dislike them, but I can't. Maybe it's because I'm a father now. I'm retired. I'm rich. I'm really, really rich. I cook with my wife. We watch The Bachelor, and I enjoy it. I used to pump vials of the world's most expensive, non-detectable drugs in my ass, but I've changed. I've inspired a generation of clones. Horrible name for my followers, but your show. I'd suggest running that by me next time. I'm touched by the tweets about how this competition wouldn't exist without me. I'm honored to know that because of my unparalleled talent, I've been able to provide world-class athletes like Brock Lesnar and ring card girl number four with the ability to make a decent living in a sport I single-handedly created. But I've moved on with my life, and I've adopted a new way of living and thinking. What would Jesus do? I've seen the lives I've ruined. I ran Vandalay Silva into witness protection. He changed his entire face after I called him out. Mike from Indy, he won't go out anymore. His mother says he stays in his room all day because when he's in public, people just want to know how I am. This year, I don't want to ruin any more lives. Instead, this year will be my penance. Thank you for the time to cleanse my soul, Jungle. Forgive me, Vic and No Cow. I'm sorry for ignoring all of your letters. It's not that I was too busy. I just didn't want to read them. Instead of being a productive member of society, you wasted yours and every other listener's time by calling in and trying to be funny. If I wanted a joke, I'd follow you into the bathroom and watch you take a leak. Movie quote, Brad and Corona. You live in Corona. I'm sorry. I'd help, but I'm a Republican. Mark in Hollywood, calling yourself an actor is like me calling myself the president. Sure, I'd really like to be, but you're not an actor. Non-speaking roles isn't acting. You know who does the same thing? Kids, when their parents take them out to a nice restaurant. It doesn't take talent. Left in Laguna. I stop paying attention to the show every time they say, left in Laguna. Left. Your parents actually thought that was a good name. They were wrong. You're a bigger mistake than the name they picked for you. None of that is my fault, but I feel the need to say I'm sorry since your parents haven't. Kayla from Wisconsin, what can I say about an unemployed pre-diabetic virgin? Well, you'd win any arm wrestling contest, that's for sure. I hope that you – no. You you know what, Jim, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not feeling it today. The energy's off. The smack off is about energy. It's about attitude. It's about coming in with confidence. Look, I don't really follow the code, what would Jesus do? I just said that to sound nice. I follow a different code. I ask myself, what would Stone Cold Steve Austin do? But, Jim, this is the smack off. You get one crack at it. It's one time a year on the biggest show's biggest day. Today's not a day to guess. It's not a day to wonder and hypothesize. I got to know. So what would Stone Cold Steve Austin do? How do we know? Maybe we should just ask him. Hey, if you want to know what Stone Cold Steve Austin would do in the smack off on the biggest day of the biggest show in Jim Rome Jungle, hell, son, I'd show up, I'd raise as much hell as possible, and then I'd leave. So crown shell, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Oh, yeah, there. that's what I needed. Thank you, Steve. So what do we do now? Throw a couple of jabs, joke about an irrelevant celebrity not as famous as me. How about I just give you 
the conclusion. That was hotter than a Barry Bonds urine sample. I just hit you with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I could play you two and a half minutes of Khloe Kardashian trying to convince us she's gotten hotter over the years, and it would be more convincing than anything else I've heard today. What's perplexing to me is that these callers spent 365 days coming up with their material. I just read you a script that was written by my wife on a restaurant napkin, and it was more believable. It's over. Make the count. You've been pinned like a Jeep left in neutral. Jim, these guys are like James Franco in a female brothel. Soft. And I'll spell it out for you. Chael Sutton winning this thing year after year is about as surprising as Richard Simmons wanting to transition to be a woman. I drop these callers faster than Justin Bieber in a street fight. I'll thank you now for my prize money. And while that money doesn't begin to cover a portion of my appearance fee, believe me, every penny of the check is going towards something illegal. I believe I still have seven seconds left, so I want to spend it in silence. Jungle, join me. Jail. Jail Sonnen. He's 1-1. One, one. He won another piece of one, and that answers the question. He and Mike were not a tandem team this year. Where do you slot him? Speaking of which, our last call. 